When it comes to premium 1.6 Back to the Future figures, we have been given 1985 Marty, 2015 Marty, 2015 Doc, another 1985 Marty, and even Einstein the Dog, but no 1985 Doc Brown. Until now. Join me, Future Boy, while we unbox this new figure. The good people at Hot Toys have finally released not just one, but two versions of the 1985 Doc Brown. Buyers were given the choice between the regular version of Doc or the deluxe version. So, when making my purchasing decision, I was faced with a paradox. Wait, wait, a paradox? You mean one of those things that can destroy the universe? No, not a paradox. A pair o dox Hold for laughter. <laughs> I chose the deluxe version of the figure, of course, since it comes with a bit more, but we'll get to that in a moment. As per the last few boxes from Hot Toys, this one features an image of the DeLorean. Not giving any hint that this box includes a non-vehicle inside, aside from this small writing in the corner. The side of the box features this kind of cheesy branding that they've been using lately for the Out of Time Tour 85. Inside includes a protective slipcover, similar to the one that came with the recent Marty figure. And beneath that, of course, is the man himself, Dr. Emmett L. Brown and all of his accessories. But before we get to those, let's check out the main attraction. The head sculpt is a great likeness of Christopher Lloyd with a classic surprise face, though I couldn't help but think that these features looked a little too familiar. And yes, in fact, it is the exact same head from the 2015 Doc Brown figure released a few years back. A little disappointing they didn't change the expression, even just a little, as they did with the two Marty figures recently. It would have been nice to have a few different versions of Doc on our shelf, but beggars can't be choosers. And at the end of the day, this rendering really does encompass the spirit of Doc Brown. In addition to the man himself, there are a lot of little goodies in here. This is the first large-scale figure that I've ever purchased that I really felt like I needed to read the instructions. Most of the time, you can just wing it and have fun with the little details, but I wanted to make sure I got all this right. There are so many details to be found here in Doc's tool belt and gadgets, and I wanted them to look as screen accurate as possible. It took the longest time to assemble the tool belt and get it strapped onto the figure, but it really helps complete the outfit, because without it, Doc kind of looks like well, it looks like he's wearing a Devo suit. Is that a Devo suit? Never mind that now, never mind that now. And in case you're wondering, Doc is not wearing any bulletproof vest underneath. His shoes are pretty accurate, though of course they omitted the Nike swoosh for copyright reasons, I'm sure. But they did give all the little contents for his pockets, including pocket protector, pens, and even this little notepad that hangs out of his pocket. And though it is very hard to see in the movie, this notepad has one of my favorite little meta Easter eggs. It is actually a Gremlins movie notepad, one that I remember having as a kid and it was sold in every corner drugstore. A little nod to one of executive producer Steven Spielberg's other great 80s films. Doc, of course, wears multiple watches, including this cool one with a finger loop button to activate a stopwatch. You may have never noticed this detail in the movie before, but here it is. Look for it next time. Speaking of time, Doc does have a control watch to go around his neck, as well as the counterpart watch that goes on his dog Einstein. So if you happen to buy the recent deluxe Marty McFly figure, you already have this Einstein figure, and you can dress it out with the accessory watch now. I was never quite sure why they actually included Einstein with the Marty figure instead of Doc, but finally, the two can be put together on your display shelf. This Doc figure also comes with his metal clipboard and paperwork. And look at the detail on these pages. This tiny writing is insane. And of course, we have the DeLorean remote control. Again, look at the detail on this thing. Doc has multiple interchangeable hands, so you can perfectly fit it into his palm. And finally, the one accessory that makes this figure the deluxe model is the inclusion of the yellow case of plutonium. This little guy is lightweight, but sturdy. All the plutonium containers are glued in, but they did give one extra with a removable pellet, so you can simulate the plutonium rod going into the time machine's reactor core. And now, with all the accessories in place, we can finally, after all these years, unite Doc with his good friend Marty. Add the Einstein figure, and you have all the pieces you need for a great reenactment of the Twin Pines Mall parking lot sequence. 
All that's missing now is the DeLorean itself, but I'll save that for another video. Until then, let me know if you picked up one of these figures for yourself, and if you did, did you get the regular or the deluxe version? Shoot me a message in the comments, please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the future.